This video shows the relationship between elasticity and total revenue. Therefore, we know that we can tell the degree of elasticity based on the relationship between price and total revenue. So let's draw here our y-axis, which is the price, our x-axis, which is the quantity, and then here, the total revenue graph, our y-axis total revenue, and x-axis is the quantity. So we know that the product will be elastic if we have a negative relationship between price and total revenue, which means price and total revenue is a move in opposite direction. So if price goes down, total revenue will increase. So I will start here with decreasing the price, and we know that at a higher price, the product is relatively elastic. Therefore, what will happen to our total revenue curve? It will eat. So here, the price elasticity of demand is bigger than one. It means it's elastic. What will happen to our total revenue curve? It will go up. Then we have unit elastic. What do you mean by unit elastic? Any change in price will not affect total revenue. Therefore, if we decrease price, total revenue will remain the same. So here, at this point, we have price elasticity of demand is equal to one, which means unit elastic. And here, it will give us our maximum total revenue. Then we have our inelastic. What do you mean by inelastic? We have a positive relationship between price and total revenue, which means price and total revenue move in the same direction. If price goes down, total revenue will go down. So if we keep decreasing the price here, we know that at a lower price, the product is relatively inelastic. Price elasticity of demand is lower than one. So what will happen to our total revenue? It will decrease again. Therefore, if you look here for our total revenue curve, it will be an inverted U shape. Why? Because the relationship between price and total revenue. So what can we conclude from these two graphs? If any company hired you as an economic consultant and they told you what's our optimum quantity that will maximize our total revenue. So you need to check elasticity, which means if the product is relatively elastic, you need to decrease the price in order to increase total revenue. If the product is relatively inelastic, you need to increase the price in order to increase total revenue until you reach unit elastic, because at unit elastic, what do we have? We have maximum total revenue, and this will be our target.